Yeah, uh, Bert, so what do you think about the revelry, the new event? Yo, I have no idea what the fuck is this <laughs> revelry. I haven't even turned my computer on in a week. Fuck, I know about some revelry. Something grenades, everyone's upset. Yeah, yeah, well, they can't change it, so uh, it's going to be in comp for another three weeks, and it's a pretty big deal. Are for uh, the course. Well, yeah. that's it, everyone. Thanks for listening to the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got to get out while the getting <laughs> Send all your hate mail to crucibleradio at gmail.com. <laughs> An email we're no longer going to be using. Yeah, no, uh, uh, you know what? We'll check it. We'll check it. I'm not going to respond, but we'll check it. Yeah, okay. All right. No, let's talk about some other stuff, but uh, let's play uh, Let's play some intro music first. That's a good idea, birds. Why, thank you. I love it. Back in the day, I was the one to complain. Making up reasons for why I was losing, but man, that shit was lame. Didn't think I was to blame, didn't think it was my aim But now you remember the name, cause I'm the new salad, I'm changing the game Yeah, Mosey's back in town, do but with me, hold it down Daddy Fasthead's gonna tell you need to stop fooling around Been a long time coming, but they made us year three Gonna bring you that new metal, like I work for Bungie ah. Use whatever, don't apologize Open up a fresh wound and cauterize I'm going full auto on this one Hear my hammer, yeah, you better run Well, 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 Welcome to Crucible Radio, your source for all things <laughs> Destiny 2 <laughs> PvP. Fuck it, why not? Why not? <laughs> it's as plausible as anything else. Yep. Oh, Making two, a big turnaround here at 200. <laughs> Hundo! 200. Zero, zero. This is how we do it. Mm, 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 mm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very last episode of Crucible Radio. You know, I, I remember on that very first episode, not even episode one, episode zero, I was thinking to myself, man, someday I, I'll just be thinking, can't fucking wait to end this thing and do something <laughs> else. We did it. I knew we had to do 200. We'd end uh, end on the dot. It was all written in advance. Now, this has been... um. This has been crazy. This has been the the like one of the single most experience the most experiences I've ever had. In my <laughs> it's really life. high up there in terms of experiences. It's, it's that been I have about two hundred experiences that I've enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably two fifty with all the little dibs and dabs, all the lits, little bits and pieces. Sure, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot, a lot of other work outside of this thing. <laughs> it ain't just showing up on Thursday and posting it. It's been a, it's been a whole like do stuff. it's been a whole part of my schedule like well you know when we say part of our lives it's like oh yeah yeah the community and the content and you know each other but like part of my life really it means like every Sunday waiting for that message from Andrew to upload the pod you know coming up with titles coming up with descriptions finding a band on Saturday afternoon to to use for the music. All that sort of thing. Let's like, be fair. Let's be fair. I'm getting in those in at like Sunday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> They're sliding in. They're sliding in. But I'm just saying like it's been part of our routine and it is routine now, you know, and we've got this well-oiled machine with everyone that's helped us along the way and everyone part of Team CR who works with us every week. But it's just wild. It's like it's just routine, you know, like dinner plans are different for me every Thursday because because mm-hmm. I know I'm recording and my girlfriend knows I'm recording. So we, we work around it. It's just like. It's the job. It's part of the job. A lot of late night Thursday naps right before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something something crazy about that, too. The fact that you live on the East Coast, have the schedule that you do. Uh, all of us have the schedules that we have and making it work and actually going like, hey, eat Pacific on Thursday and we all show up. Uh, that's hard Something. to do. It's uh, what other, how many other things, you know, with friends, like, uh, let's all watch this show at this person's house or let's all play D and D 
you know, every weekend at least. And how many of those things fall through? And this one didn't. Look, I've, I've played sports. I've been <laughs> in bands, like semi-serious bands trying to do stuff. I've like, I've had ongoing commitments. I have never done anything 200 weeks in a row, including this show, but the show was the closest. Right. Just <laughs> So I, Burns, did not get the attendance award and the cruises last week. <laughs> He's still salty. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. No, I, I think it's probably pretty, fair, pretty, uh, pretty accurate. Here. Well, and, but even still, like you... You chipped in during the week on all the other ways you always do. You know, like it's not like everyone can check out or take a month off. Or be like, hey, remember that uh, that Crucible Radio thing? You, you want to start doing that again? Like, you're still in it. It's still, you know, firmly latched into part of your brain, and it is, yeah, it's crazy. You know what this show beat out of me was like. I had a tendency as a younger man, and like I still have the tendency. I just don't act on it to just like go off the grid for a bit. Mm. Not pick up my phone, not look at Slack, not not just like, yeah, just be like, yeah, I don't want to I don't want to talk to anyone who I can't see face to face for 24 hours or like for a weekend. And, you know, it's look, it's easy when you have a traditional weekend, when you don't have kids, you have limited responsibilities. And I remember like there was a couple times earlier on in the show where it was just like, hey, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I was off the grid like you guys just getting things done in the meantime. And it's just like, yeah, that shit can't happen anymore. <laughs> and it's good. I feel, I feel it's a, uh, I I've learned stuff from this show. It's like a baby. You can't leave it alone for too long. <laughs> yeah. You can't abandon your baby for a weekend. Although if, by my system, the baby would have to be not living at my house and just like texting me and trying to get a hold of me in order for this to kick in. If you, right. if you can find me. It's a toddler. You attention. Yeah. Yeah. Toddles away, starts texting me, saying he can't toddle back, needs a ride. Do you guys remember when we scheduled a thing to to play some Trials of Osiris with Mr. Joe Verrated and <laughs> birds slept in? And by the time he hit us up on Discord, we and I were like, we already went flawless, dude. <laughs> like, we played the whole Trials run. <laughs> yep. And it was like, well, of all the things you could sleep through, you made the right call. Yeah. Yeah, you know, over the years, looking back on it, I actually haven't played video games with you guys all that much. <laughs> Certainly recorded a lot more podcasts with you than I've played video games with you by many orders of magnitude. Yes, That's fine. quite a bit. It's fine. I like to play video games by myself. I like to record podcasts with you guys. Yes, I mean, same a lot of the times, sure. Excuse me, Bonesy, shut up. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> we... Well, well. We have got some content with a capital C and a lowercase C for you tonight. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a little a little chat up top, but um, we got some some special uh, oh, favorites. Let's call them moments, segments. Uh, yeah, favorite favorite things in segment form um, for you to enjoy. But I was thinking up top. I feel like there's some stuff I've been. I've been, you know, because we're participants in in the the, the world of gaming. I want to <laughs> air some grievances. What do I have left to lose at this point? <laughs> I feel like I've been a restraining force to be like, hey, look, you're a representative of the show right now. Probably shouldn't say that. Or, oh, you're a representative for Crucible Play, but like, you probably shouldn't say that. But I'm ready to saw these ice flows off, push them into the open, start a new thing. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, let's, huh. let's settle some scores. All right, this guy. Let, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. I think the thing that I have realized is that gaming is like many hobbies. I know I've talked about this on the show before, but like if you look at the magazine for any hobby, they basically have a year's worth of content, whether it's photography or hunting or import tuning or cooking or whatever. They basically have 12 issues worth of content. And they take the topics, the pieces, the interviews, the features, and they kind of spread them out and uh, make them last. And then basically after a year, kind of just start them over again because the hobby is the hobby. And what they know is that people come in and people come out and they just remain a constant. They figure out what works and people come and go. And I think what I've realized is that gaming is is a hobby like that, right? Like people have their own experiences with destiny. People come, people go. There are some people who have listened to the show since the very beginning and are listening right now. And let me say, you guys are all right. I'm not <laughs> talking about you. I'm not talking about you. Y'all you, are fine. However, 
what I've learned is that the gaming community just has a lot of constants and different people come in and come out. There are some stalwarts who you wonder, like, how have you not burned yourself out after being being angry for so many years? But what I realized about gaming and about Destiny in particular is there's just this low-key anger and restless, irritable, discontent. Why? Why is this not more addicting? Why is this too addicting? Why is there not enough stuff to do? I don't want to do any of this stuff. And it's just constant. I met a guy, I started a new job. I met I met a, a guy at my work. We were taking a train together and, um, and he plays Destiny. And he said something to me, which is like, oh yeah, I don't use shotguns. <laughs> I just thought like, oh my God. Oh, you started Destiny too. How, how quaint. I've been hearing people talk about how shotguns are broken and no fun and they'll never touch them for 200 weeks now. <laughs> and it's just like, wow. the, the, the thing I want to say is that it's all a bunch of ridiculous bullshit. It's a game. <laughs> it's a game. Here's episode 200. What you build on top of this game is what matters, right? The the and this I, th- I think it makes sense, right? The friendships you make, the the projects you do in game, the achievements you 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 achieve, the things that you do, the memories you make, all that stuff is important. The game is a is a mechanism for you to get there. And then separate from that, there's this world of like, well, I got nothing else I care about except for this game and I'm feeling upset right now. So let's just be upset in general and to have that be the constant and the norm. <laughs> it just sucks. Burns okay. me out. Good. Not going to miss it. Okay. Okay. My turn. Yes. Go for it. <laughs> so like you said earlier, we, I, for me, there's this ebb and flow of things when it comes to hobbies and Destiny was definitely uh Right up there. <laughs> I I spent a lot of time playing Destiny. And there's parts of my life where, like, I all of a sudden just stop doing something. And I won't mm-hmm. know why. And I'll miss it. Like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I, I, like, I did that for a long time. And it really just ended up being one of those things. Like, it that's mostly hobbies for me, though. Like, I'll, I'll very much enjoy playing Warhammer for a year and a half and then immediately being like, nope, that's never happened ever again. Let's move on to the next thing. (laughs) And next thing was Destiny. Um, And that happens with like work stuff. That happens with hobbies. That happens with everything with me. And I kind of just naturally let it happen. I don't don't kick and scream on my way out. Uh, I will just be like, okay, that was an experience and a fun it could be it could be a terrible experience in some cases but with destiny it was a really enjoyable experience uh on because i'd let it be that like i didn't let myself get too dragged into the nonsense too often i would say there was probably about six months where i did and (laughs) and i remember and those were (laughs) very terrible six months but around that i had the best time with my friends and playing with guns and creating montages and all of that was just like, that's something I'll never forget. And that kind of happened around to this show. And obviously with the show's not completely ending, we're doing more and we're, we're doing something new. And that's what makes me excited uh, is that this new thing, this new hobby, this new, adventure is about to happen we didn't really talk in advance like are we gonna like say anything about the new show this episode you give like the um, name at least if we I give the like name we, we got it we gotta be prepared on sunday night to grab all the stuff oh well i'm pretty busy this sunday maybe we shouldn't um <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know i think maybe we just leave it as it what it is uh w- Okay, well, Bonesy, air your grievances. Let's let's think on this. Let's think on this. I think we can give him something. If you're listening to this episode. I don't know what my graven- grievances are. Mm. Well, that's disappointing. You think so great with your lack of grievances at the world? I'm, li- I'm off mic. I'm trying to think. I don't really know what I would, would <laughs> actually say here. Oh, Andrew, you're leaving, you're leaving all this in. This is a sus is getting made episode. <laughs> okay, well, maybe it doesn't have to be grievances, right? Maybe, um... I think uh, I think Swain and I both kind of touched on how uh, how we've changed over the course of these fuck four years with yeah. this sort of this background constant of checking in once a week. How you've seen other people change? I mean, we're not the only ones. 
Everyone grows up. This is just a common touch point for a lot of folks. I think this has been a weird experience where I enjoyed some of the side effects so much. And some of those side effects include uh, <clears throat> having a following online, like having someone with a blue check mark tweet at me or following me, even, you know, being invited to visit Bungie, having almost 300,000 clicks on my rap song that I put on YouTube, um, adding up all the rap songs I put on YouTube, probably closer to like 400,000. That's fucking nuts. Um, that's crazy. Cause I've been making stuff like this for a long time. And a lot of it was like the weird goofy videos you make in middle school, or like you start a podcast in high school and it's probably the worst thing anyone could ever listen to, but to you, it's amazing. And you did it and you created something. And I I've done podcasts for months that, you know, probably, I don't know, maybe less than 50 people ever heard. But I did them consistently and it was fun and it was like building something. And then I have spent hundreds of dollars taking improv classes to try to learn a new skill and somehow got myself on stage night after night after night to small audiences of people who were probably just going to perform right after me and didn't actually (laughs) just show up to watch me. Uh, That's crazy. And then this is the one, this is the thing. And say that like we're true A-list celebrities, but like this thing really did work. Uh, you know, like <laughs> this, this had a hundred thousand people listening to us just in a week when we, when we interviewed someone who makes video games and stuff. And that's nuts. That's always going to be really crazy. And, uh, I loved it. I loved it. Big surface area, you know, some of the, you know, bad creeps in, but Overall, it was it was a very enjoyable time. Yeah, of course. Yo, if anyone wants to download my podcast because they hate me, I want you to know that's fine. <laughs> that that's <laughs> that is a okay with me. To, please download it multiple times from different IP addresses. I I thank you. No, yeah, Bonesy, like that's something, right? Like I've had lots of creative projects in my life, and I think for the most part, I thought like. Oh, it's pretty good. Like I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think it was good or I didn't get something out of it. But man, it's a weird thing to have other people like it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, and I did this, you know, I've been in bands too. And you know the feeling of like doing a show and being like, God, I've texted 20 people today and I really hope they show up. <laughs> like that feeling. And for it to just be like, I'm uh getting I I'm getting tweeted at by someone who's very upset with my opinions on trials of Osiris. And I'm happily going to argue with them for 30 minutes to an hour on the internet uh, is a weird, weird transition, but um, it's crazy. It, it definitely, it definitely was exciting <laughs> for the, for the whole time. It was probably still going to be exciting. I'm probably still going to get into arguments on Twitter. I'll never forget signing someone's PlayStation cover yeah. at Guardian Con oh, and being dude. like a Destiny Con. Remember, oh, yeah, remember how that was three years ago? Uh, and being like, wow, like, well, this person wants my name on a, on their thing. <laughs> that's, it's so weird. And then it's like someone recently said that, uh, they had flown up to Florida to meet us. And I was just yeah. like, oh man, <laughs> a lot of, it didn't feel like a lot of pressure in the moment, but now I think back of it, it was like, I should have been more anxious. <laughs> And that's the crazy thing too, right? Like it got fun and it got fine. And I had nerves for certain things, you know, like the little buzz we had getting into a Skype call with two guys from Bungie. Like that's a crazy feeling and cool. Um, cool. Getting on stage at Guardian Con, knowing I have like five songs that I just have been repeating to myself backstage and now I'm going to rap them. Like I've been nervous doing this. I was nervous before a live show. We had that whole like, everyone knows that our intro bits are corny as hell. Like no one's confused on that, but then we were going to go do it live. <laughs> and we were like, and I'm sitting there listening to Holtzman read that thing. And I'm like, yeah, no, this should be fine. Right. People like us still, people aren't actively getting up and leaving. Uh, but we just went for it. And like, I think it's crazy. Cause I think I know the two of you uh, probably uh, better than anyone should. And probably just as much as anyone else in the world 
I don't know what I'm saying, but I know you very well. And I don't think either of you two, and probably not me, when you guys think of me, it's just like, yeah, they're like born for the radio, born for the stage. <laughs> give them the attention. Give them the platform. Birds, I know you love a platform in a private conversation. And yeah, it's true. It's Swain, I know thing. you love to, uh, you know, really give someone advice and put yourself out there and say like, look, this is how I get shit done. And I know you can follow Like you're a good teacher and stuff like that. But I don't think the three of us are just like, yo, let us be on the billboards times 100 most influential people right below Ninja. Like give us the grand (laughs) stage of attention. Like, I don't think we're built like that. So the fact that the three of us do this, that we like recording, that we like talking to each other, that we like talking to other people and going on other podcasts that we can get on stage do a live podcast and all that other thing is awesome because we've pushed ourselves to do that. And we've, uh, you know, not, not just walked into it knowing we're great or, or coming from some other content or whatever. I don't know, but it's, it's nuts. It's crazy that we became people pretty good at that. Pretty, pretty good at uh, the talking part that I'll uh, do (laughs) every week. Thank thank you, Andrew. And speaking of Andrew, we, found Andrew and we found the right person because we had this strong goal and birds. I think you kind of pulled it out of me because like I said, I'd podcasted before. Like I know what it takes to make it happen, but you were like, no, 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 no. Look at this. Like it's the best thing you could make. And it kind of opened my eyes to that production and, and Swain too, you know, it was just like, no, no, no. Like treat it like your job, you know, don't be playing destiny while you record. (laughs) And we had those learning points when we were like, just starting out, but we've pushed this to just be like a high quality show that when we go listen to comedy, bang, bang, or WTF or whatever, you know, billion dollar podcast, our sounds the same. Like that's, that's our goal. We want it to do that. We've put the work into doing that and we found Andrew who can (laughs) make it happen. But like, yeah, I, I don't know. I've always, I've always sort of been proud of that throughout this whole thing where I just compare our show to everything else out there about destiny, about video games on the internet. And I'm like, man, we sound good. I'm proud of us. Two things I got to say. First, uh, I think I can share something about the new show because I've been trying to like write a good description for it. It's challenging. But one phrase I stumbled across immediately that I liked was high production, low content. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds great. And it's three dum-dums talking about stupid shit. Uh, There's a little more to it than that. Um, But the other thing, like Andrew, like that is Andrew and Team CR and like a lot of people. I was just having a conversation with my new boss the other day at my new job. And we were just like walking around Santa Monica. And I I, I was kind of talking. And like I said this thing, like there's somebody on this boardwalk right now, like on, on this beach, who's like the best person you could ever meet in your life. You could meet them and it would change your whole life. You'd go into business together. You'd fall in love, like whatever it is. There's someone out there who's a perfect match for you, who you meet them and you're just like, oh, I can trust this person. Mm-hmm. But you're never going to do it. You're never going to do it because you just like, you're walking around and you're like, oh, who's this creep? <laughs> who's this creep making eye contact at me thinking that maybe we're soulmates? And that it's important to make stuff like this because it helps you it helps people find each other that are a good fit. And I think like, yeah, we can give a shout out for sure. Engineer Andrew, who makes this show sound good. Dan, who's Dan, who makes, who does the graphic design, who helps on projects, who does gaming in hell. My fourth, maybe third favorite podcast. <laughs> hell yeah. Hey, um, <laughs> yeah, you're up there now, boys. Um, Otter, who's just Otter. Project coordinator, Otter. Uh, Grim, who we hired to be our co- non jaded conscience. Uh, <laughs> Nick, who made the YouTube version of this show. I l- love hate Grim. I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, is he exactly. tagging me again? <laughs> He's like a personal trainer. That was, yeah, I, I had a good chat with him where, it. where it was like, yeah, um, I'm going to help you be more specific. So when you have to needle people, you can really needle them effectively. <laughs> so he, yeah, he, I give him a set of needles each week now. Mm. I think it's helping make everything more unpleasant and effective for us. It was designed for microsurgery. Yeah. <laughs> Bones gets specific. it. Uh, I just laugh in general, but like, let's keep going. I mean, those are the ones that you hear who make this show, but the show wouldn't be what it is without Keen Koala and Fallout. I mean, just like uh, every the, guest that's ever been on. 
Every get almost the every good and, no, no, the bad ones, the bad guys. No, that's true. true. That's true. You learned. That's true. I sure did learn a lot about uh, audio editing from some of them. <laughs> I mean, just I, I, I don't want to run down the list of names, but I'm gonna do it. I mean, just like friends, just contacts and cable and Mike and AK. And fucking Greek, who has not done any crucible science in any amount of time. Um, little ankle baby. Tex, who just like threw up in a Voss water bottle at <laughs> Destiny Con. And we've hardly heard from him since. I think he's doing okay. He's fine. Um, he's lost a bunch of weight. Good, good on you, man. Yeah, talked to him recently. Um, contacts. You said contacts. It's double. The other Double contacts. shout out. For taking all her shit all the time. Yep. That's fair. That's fair. Greeny. Um, everyone who stepped up on the playbook moderation, Zia and Raymond, Otters helping out there, Iron Marcus, all the Crucible Radio Discord moderators. Uh, um, I mean, just the list goes on. Smiley and Dan Drumstone and who am I forgetting? Just like, that's the thing is like, I would have gone my whole fucking life without meeting any of these people. And now I've got a big ass list of people in my DMS who I could just be like, Hey, I got something I need to important to talk about. Do you have a sec? And they would say like, absolutely. I will make time and we'll take each other hundred percent seriously. Like that is the most valuable thing to have in the whole world. And because of the show, because we've, we built this sorting mechanism for people who are all right, including you listener, um, that we're now just like, immensely wealthy in spirit. Ain't that some shit. Hey, you know who else we got to thank for this show? Mm. Hello Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, right. yeah, right. We have to, guys. Yo, we, there's no other choice. We literally have to. I, I made some Hello Fresh recently. And uh, you know what? I made something that I I just would not have made. I wouldn't have normally made it. Um, I made a uh, uh, pan fried chicken with a creamy dill sauce. Oh, I love and, like, dill. I love dill too. I love a pan sauce, but you know what? I like fuck up 60% of my pan sauces. I, I don't know what I was doing wrong. They just like break or they wouldn't come together. But with HelloFresh, the recipe is easy. Like, I can't follow recipes. I can't be looking at that. But they they make it nice and simple. It's not a bunch of real compact writing. There's pictures. And you know what? I did fewer things with this pan sauce. I just didn't fuck it up. And it was delicious. Am I HelloFresh, do you mind if I if I say how, <laughs> how fucking good your recipes are? They're good recipes. We curse on this show. We've grown up now. Let me give them the, let me give them the rundown. HelloFresh makes conquering the kitchen a reality with deliciously simple recipes and fresh pre-measured ingredients delivered to your door. All meals come together in 30 minutes max, which is That's true. literally uh, what I need, uh, yep. and calls for less than two pots and pans and requires minimal cleanup. They could do it in one. Yeah. Yep. Plus, with three plans to choose from, you got the classic, you got veggie and family. There's something for everyone. So get out of that recipe rut and start cooking outside of your comfort zone because for $80 off your first month of HelloFresh, 80 bucks off your first month. That Wow, okay. Amazing. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Crucible80 and enter code C-R-U-C-I-B-L-E-8-0. That's HelloFresh.com slash Crucible80 and enter the code Crucible80 for $20 off your first four boxes. Wow. I'm I'm telling you, you're going to, if you haven't done this before, like this is a good deal. Go do this and just like have the experience. Oh, and keep of- the card. With the recipe on it. Yeah, yeah. T- I, I take a picture of all of them. I'm still making this chicken. But like to open one of those boxes and then just like lay out your ingredients around your cutting board like you're you're recording a GIF recipe for YouTube, everything all ready to go. It's 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 nice. Give it a shot. Thank you, HelloFresh. We we do appreciate you. Wow, this is actually making me hungry because I realized we got to plug something else on episode 200 because while this podcast is coming out at the same time, there's something on our YouTube channel that I feel like is one of the best things we've ever done. (laughs) So, I mean, let's, let's paint a, paint a word picture for them. Um, About, what was it? Two months ago at this point, uh, myself and my wife, we flew out to California because we just wanted to get the hell out of Philadelphia 
uh, especially in the dead of winter. And mm-hmm. we flew all the way to LA and had a wonderful time while we were there. Mm-hmm. Went to Disneyland, went to JPL. Um, but at the very end, we we did a little little something for what do you call it? A crucible radio going away present essentially. <laughs> um, and it was spicy. Yeah. So Swain gets cooking at birds' house. I eventually show up with Alex and you've got just a couple trays of the most beautiful chicken wings I've ever seen. And the plan is to imitate, well, one of our favorite shows or, or YouTube channels and do the hot wings challenge, which we did, which we did not 10 wings, six, but make no mistake. We got to the hottest. Yeah. They got up there. We they got up there. Did the last dab redux and we went for it and it was awesome. We set it up. Uh, we had the nice black tablecloth, make it try to, you know, match the show a little bit. I can't wait to release some of the pictures from the production because like my dining room was transformed into a TV set. Like (laughs) Alex brought her lights over. There was lights. We had multiple camera angles. It was a thing. It was a real thing. We had two webcams on the side. We had a center camera and then we had a, a roaming handheld, which would be someone's phone, but it was all filming. And we got, we, we, we were there for, well, we were, in front of the camera for an hour and a half. Uh, that was part of prep and part of planning and also part of literally recovering at the end uh, and then doing some other bonus conversations and that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, it was really cool. And and again, I think I said it when we were recording, but Swain, those first two wings were like the best wings I've ever eaten. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I want to just have like six of these <laughs> or maybe 12. <laughs> Can we just eat these? Tonight? And it was the first time, I think it's the first time I've really had your, your, cooking yeah uh yeah we've we've done like burgers and stuff at guardian con like but i don't count that and then birds put like mayo on it and shit so it doesn't even doesn't even count as food but <laughs> god you're just, you're just pushing the button you're just pushing the button you get a reaction i couldn't tell if your recording's gonna pick up that sigh or not <laughs> um but yeah no they were so good and then it was it was wing four when we started really going nuts and we played some fun games too. So it's up there. It's a full 20 plus minutes and it's incredible. And I can't believe I did it. Yeah. Go to youtube.com slash crucible radio. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to spoil how I, uh, what happened when I ate the last <laughs> one, but I put it in my mouth. <laughs> well, so that's the thing, right? Like the question everyone wants to know is like, Oh yeah, they went on. Like, did they do it? Could they hang? Hey, I will say we, we, we made it to the end. We all made it to the oh, end. Of yeah. The we hung, we hung. Well, in varying degrees of, <laughs> of hanging, but we 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 hung in there. No, we no did. wall of shame or board of shame or whatever they call it, but yeah, hall of shame. It's probably what they call it. Uh, yeah, it's also funny as fuck. I just I watched it uh, the the second draft tonight again. The whole thing, it's like hilarious. I love it. Um, we definitely dish a little bit too on it. It's very good, and I I get mad at birds. <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, please know, go watch it it's it's a bit of a jump right like i don't think we're gonna become youtubers right i i don't want to see myself i i, I don't like having video footage of me just out there you know or maybe you don't i don't fully understand it myself uh, but i will say if you've been listening to us talk at you for well god knows how many weeks up to and including 200 weeks. And you wonder like, what do these guys faces look like when their mouths are moving? I often wonder that, right? Like, you know, you see like, Oh, some celebrity is like doing a voice on a cartoon. I wonder if I can find some footage of them in the booth doing that voice. And if you, if you do get it, Oh, it's so good. It's so sweet to see that. It's so, yeah. So you can, you can do that. You can see us talking with our mouths and see what our heads look like when they're moving around. Cause words are coming out. I don't know. What, I don't know how else I could tell it. I mean, that, that, that's just it. I would love it if there's someone listening to all 200 episodes that have never seen our faces. <laughs> I would scream. Please message me if that's been true. I want to see your reaction. <sighs> Yo, can we get some reaction vids? I would love some reaction vids. I, yes. I won't watch them. They, 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 
tend to go on a little bit long, but I, I'll, I'll watch a little bit. Of it. I'll watch crazy. literally any video anyone records of themselves if they tell me it's about Crucible Radio. <laughs> that, that's fair, actually. I'm just, just, I don't know, use it as a trick. I'll, you said it, so I'll click it. It could be the weirdest thing you've ever sent anyone. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm not watching any videos on the internet that aren't vet it by someone until next Thursday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This comes out the 22nd, Swain, so you've got four <laughs> days after this, and then you can watch all the videos you want. But yeah, we're not spoiling Endgame. All right, well, let's uh, let's let's do a couple more a couple more thank yous. Because um, I think there's, uh, you know, we sort of alluded to this. We called some people. And look, if we if we forgot you, guest who we love, like I, Moonvald, you thought we were going to forget you. We didn't forget you. Yeah, so we didn't name forget you, Moon. I've got to thank you. Is it Lord Shax? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's it's you guys. Oh. Um yeah, I mean it's been I mean we've talked a lot about all the people that have helped make this show great and I don't think we give enough credit to you guys for uh being really good friends and showing up and just having like this is never a chore on a Thursday night. No, for me. no, this is, I like, there's yeah. times when I dread it, but this is just without a doubt, like hard to beat my favorite moment of every week. Oh, it's it, the, uh, and for me, the only dread comes from like getting my ass into the seat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Exactly. I, 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 some nights I'd be like to be sleeping, but, um, hanging out with you guys for the past f- four years, essentially has been amazing. I, uh, I think this probably goes for all of us, but I think uh, I think you guys have done two things that really stick out for me. The first one is you've sanded a lot of the rough edges off my personality. I see in hindsight now, <laughs> I can be a little grating. I can be a little difficult to be around from time to time. And you guys have, have helped that. But I think the way that you did that was just being endlessly forgiving and understanding to me. And just to know that like, yeah, we're good. We're good. Even if like... Even if like I'm pissed off at you because I'm blah, 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 like whatever thing, like to know that there's an infinite well of empathy and forgiveness you guys have for me, and I know that I know that it's there because I have it for you guys. That that is um, that's pretty cool. So thanks. Yeah. There's a there's something really special to me as a grumpy guy with messed up brain chemistry that makes me irritated very easily to know that there's like two other guys who are also pretty grumpy, but just like are just ready to drop it when it, the time comes. And like, that's like such a blessing to me when I don't always deserve someone being like, it's all good. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay, fine. And like, <laughs> like that's a crazy <laughs> feeling. And it's, it's been really helpful for me. You know, I, I get irritated about stuff. All the time. And I don't always even think I'm doing it or mean to do it. I don't want it to happen, but I do. And you guys are both like way too familiar with that sort of emotion to not be like, yo, you know, just pointing it out to me and be like, it's all good. And then we're all good. And, uh, you know, and then I can do the same uh, when it happens. But it's a it's a it's very nice. And, you know, you you guys aren't that much older than me. So I don't want to say, you know, mentor might be strong. But hey, it was a good time in my life to, you know, meet two friends who are getting their shit together just a little ahead of me and, uh, <laughs> and, and being able to give good advice and just the, not always just advice, you know, not just like, Hey, here's a solution. Sometimes it's that sometimes it's just like, you're fine. <laughs> or, or like, Hey, I already did that. Yeah. It sucks. And I'd be like, yeah, it does. Right. Yeah. Like that's all you have to say. Uh, but I feel like I've learned a lot and it's helped me sort of transition from early twenties, not sure what, I'm doing or who I am to like, yeah, you're almost, you're getting up there now and, and you're, you're on, on the right path. And I do feel like I'm on the right path. And that's, uh, that's been very useful. Plus I'm like hella good at the crucible now. So <laughs> <laughs> glad we did this. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, give yourself some credit. You have certainly given me some advice and some guidance and some chill the fuck out from time to time. But I think more important (laughs) than that, you are helping me stay younger than I actually am. Like I'm all about skincare these days. (laughs) Yo, I got to hang on to this Look, a lot of people in the comments have been asking about our skincare. So episode one of the new show, we'll be going over it. 
Yeah, wash your face in the morning, wash your face in the evening, moisturize and wear fucking sunscreen. Because <laughs> you reach a point where it's going to go away, it's never going to come back, okay? So take care of it. Um, that's some old guy shit right there. I have a round of thank yous. Uh, thank you to, m- I'm just going to say it, to motherfucking Bungie Studios for making the most addictive game I have ever played in my <laughs> life. And like, look, we've talked about how like being addicted to video games is not a good thing. And that, you know, you have to really, you have to really unpack that yada, yada. But this game fucked me up in the best possible way. I, I like, I've never had something come so close to being the perfect game in my head. It's not, but come close and also like open me up to a whole new style of game I wouldn't have appreciated otherwise. And specifically, thank you to John Wisniewski. Thanks to Sage Merrill. Yeah. To Grant McKay. Is it McKay? I want to say it's McKay. Claude. To Claude Jerome. To Greg Peng. And Fusion Rifle Greg. Yep. Not the same guy. Uh, to Deej. Hey, Deej. You're, he's a busy guy. He's probably not listening. Um, to Pete Parsons, who liked a Crucible Radio-related tweet the other day. Thank you very much for that. Um, Pino. And, <laughs> to Pino, Pino, who likes a lot of my tweets. And by the <laughs> way, do you guys ever notice how like I like every single tweet that you guys make? Just as a matter of course, no skin off of my back. And sometimes I notice y'all don't always like my tweets, but you know who does? Pino. Thank you, Pino. You're all right. Uh, to Lars Bakken and Robbie Stevens, the Gambit boys. I remember Lars being like this figure in the PvP world. And I was like, oh. It would be so cool if we get Lars. And eventually we did. And I was like, oh, that was sick. We talked to him. That was him. Yeah. He was just like a normal dude who really loves video games. Like, <laughs> yeah. awesome. Um, of course, to Josh Hamrick and Kevin Giannis. Giannis. The whole squad. Uh, to Cosmo and Eric. And DMG. DMG sending me a, a picture of my girlfriend from across the floor of Guardian Con and tagging me. And I realized they became friends while I had like walked away for a second. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? It was a very funny tweet. The year before that at uh, Destiny Con, being in Five Guys Burgers with <laughs> Cosmo and Clintus, just, you know, shooting the shit, <laughs> eating burgers. Just hanging out. It was such a good time. Uh, let me give a shout out to some map designers, Cooley Callahan and Adam Williams. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. I learned some very specific things, like when you're making a map, the height difference is important, and there's angles you have to consider of like how much people can comfortably look up. I know that shit. Also, they confirmed that... Um, actually, never mind. Never mind. I'll save that one. I'll save that one. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that. (laughs) Uh, Talif Johansson, who taught me about the secret spot on Widow's Court where you can stand on the bottom and it tricks the radar into thinking someone's next to them up top. And it just Mm -hmm. became my like irritating trial strategy at the beginning of every round for the rest of D1. Mm. That was pretty cool. That was a good one. (sighs) And yeah, and and just uh, I I guess you made the joke about thanking Shaxx, but like in in, an inanimate way, like thank you, Destiny. Like, yeah, it's a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And to me, it was, um, I am stressed out. I am tired. I am burnt out. I need some relief from this thing that's looming over me that I don't want to think about. I want to, I need something to fully engage my senses and my skills and my thought processes and just keep me in it and take the focus off and be good, be good in a way where you can get better at it. And that's, that's sick. That's, that's real good. I like it. And we love the crucible obviously, but I'll never, I'll never not consider the destiny universe. One of the most beautiful experiences down to the stitching or carbon fiber on the armor to the sky boxes to just, you know, even when it was simple, even when it wasn't all there, the level design of walking through the the wall in the Cosmodrome and stuff. Like it's just a beautiful game. And now I know more than ever about the history of it, the lore, you know, old fire team, famous guardians that, you know, we're never going to see on screen, but they exist and all that stuff. Like 
it's just a universe I love being in and I'm going to love being in it forever. Even if, you know, the content isn't my, isn't satisfying me as my number one thing. It's just like, it's the, it's the best universe. I love being in it. (sighs) Okay. Well, we've got some other content, 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 baby for you on this (laughs) show tonight. Andrew and the boys have been cooking something up and we're going to get to that in a little bit. But before we do that, um, there have been some funny intro bits over the years. When we were doing the cruises last week, like aside from all the specific awards we could think of, there was just a lot of funny characters and stupid ideas we ran with and like stuck with a first take on that still just crack me up every time I go back to listen to them. Um, And so, look, we're not going to get to all of them. If you want to get to all of them, you should listen to the first five minutes of 200 episodes in a row. (laughs) Our new podcast, the first five minutes of the last 200. But no, it's not that. Um, But uh, we've pulled out some of our favorites. These are some of the classics. uh, And uh, put together a little montage. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. But stick around. This this ain't the end of the show. We'll we'll be back. There's some stuff. So. (laughs) I told you it worked. <laughs> I don't know. You start fake <laughs> laughing and you end up real laughing. It's not a joke. It really, oh. it really happens. We're not good enough actors. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, do the music. It's Crucible Radio with mega giveaways, power weapons, Keenan Thompson. Map Control Rachel Dredge Horatio Sands Snack Dads and Maya Rudolph Featuring Musical Guest Second Go and your hosts Famous Birds Bones and Swain Stash Well hello boys That was a fun intro to record Oh yes it was we didn't spend 15 minutes writing it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It just spontaneously happened. Yeah. Everyone said their lines perfectly, handed off perfectly. We didn't even plan out who's going to say what. Definitely did not do more than one take. Hey, listeners. Hey, listeners. Hey, listeners. Ah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys, it's officially showtime. No more messing around. We've got some serious stuff to talk about. Let's break out the big guns. Go time. I was born for this. No, no, guys, that was just a metaphor. Go prepare the show segments. Oh, uh, oh, like uh, episode, right? Recording. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, got it. Got it. For the puppies! Well, nope, 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 nope. We're not getting sued. Nope, we do not have permission for that. Um, okay, what, we got something in the archive, right? Some, some good in there. Uh, this one. Oh yeah, perfect. That'll do. Cue it up. Times may be dark, but we are Earth's greatest hope. Look around you, a gathering of guardians. I'm doing this again. Bones, that's, uh, it's too much. Yeah, I, you do a good Zavala, but it's like a two and a half minute trailer. I, like, we get it. We no, get it was going to be a follow up from last week's intro where I kind of parried. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. We, we, get, the, just beat it to we death. get the bit. We were here. <laughs> well, Andrew, drop the music. Let's get to the show. Okay, but I had the... Bones, Bones, what, Bones, what Bones. happened? Are you okay? Over here. What? Oh, 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 you, found oh you, here, you don't look good. Oh. I can't feel. Wait, what? hang on, buddy. Help is on the way. April up. What happened? Played what? twelve hours on Tuesday. I can't feel my wrists. Oh, oh. whatever. I can't feel my wrists. Your wrists? I can't feel my wrists. Yo, let me get one of them hot dog sandwiches. Okay. Yeah. No, we're we're good here. Um. Pay You'll attention to me. I can't feel my wrist. Hey, sweetie, give me one of those hot dogs. The sandwich is delicious. Dearly beloved, <laughs> we are 
gathered here today to commemorate the life of our good friend Bones. It's his voice. When the cold struck, it was merciless, and it took our very own Bones from us. Well, his voice, at least. Swain, Swain, keep it together. I'm giving a eulogy. This is really important for me. It's a big moment. But let's not forget the good times we had with Bones. It's his voice before he lost it due to a cold. Let's not think of the bad times where he said mean things to us. Let's think of the good times when he said weird things to us. And we or when he raps. found it funny. Or when he raps with his beautiful voice. <laughs> so good. Will he ever rap it's again? Such a good voice. Probably. I mean, I'm sure he's going to be fine. But this week, it's just us. Or maybe not. We haven't recorded the whole thing yet. So stay <laughs> tuned. And remember in your heart, our dear voice. friend Bone. It's his voice. All right. Crucible Radio, ready for another big week. Sound off, CR. Swain here. Birds ready to go. Bone's here. What? You sound different. Hmm. It, do, I, do I? I know. I know that voice. Say something else. Use whatever. Yeah. Don't apologize. Ah, that sounds God. like him. It? That's something he would say. It does it does sound like something he would say? Future war cult is the only fa- Oh god damn it! I knew I knew that voice. Fallout, what are you doing I, here? I no, this is it's bones, guys. I drink Lacroix and I have a cat and I know more about Star Wars than you. And I think you're just oh, no. That's actually pretty close. Is that, is that spot on? Keep going. Keep going. I'm 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 starting to buy it. Ray is maybe the greatest character in Star Wars history. That's actually that's that's not super far off now keep keep going getting warmer i read scripts for a living yeah <laughs> yeah C- could you give me just like a, i'm bones I, i'm a book of video game. like one of those <laughs> i'm bones i play games and yeah i'm awesome <laughs> oh perfect <laughs> yeah I nailed it <laughs> nailed it andrew dropped the beat wow that's really impressive Hey guys, it's me, Fallout, back on the show. A lot of science. <laughs> All right, that's the intro bit. Andrew, drop it. Oh. Swainbot reporting. This week we have Last Guardian standing. We talk about pulse rifles and charming guest unit Fallout plays. Bones, you've done it. I knew it was worth replacing Swain with a robot. You know, life is so much easier now. I feel great about this decision. Swainbot, do my taxes. Yes, birds. Swainbot, get me a girlfriend. No, does not compute. Uh, all right, oh, hold on. That's not what I made it say. Wait, some. go to the music and I'll fix this while we're on break. I have limitations. I'm not a miracle worker. <laughs> go outside. Maybe you should practice your social skills. All right, guys, I know you, you've been practicing this intro bit. You are so ready for it. <laughs> Hit me with the intro. I am uh, so excited. I'm just going to sit back. This is a, uh, this is a uh, intro requested by, I think, four, four fans out of however many <laughs> listeners we have. A Only four, of four people will recognize and or even like this. Uh, so, Swain, should we do it at the same time? Yeah, yeah. All right. One, two, three. Hello, boys. You're welcome. <laughs> Just you people. So, and sorry we forgot to do this eight months ago when it was relevant. <laughs> Star date 263.1.3.24.69.69. The sex number. <laughs> On an odd coincidence, we discussed the sex number today. We think it's gross and creepy. Bigger <laughs> fans of the 99 or the the 6 and the B together. <laughs> the, old, the old 6 lowercase B is how we did it as a boy. Sometimes a PQ. Occasionally a K then a hyphen. No, no, I'm not finishing this. What is this care? <laughs> it's sex Picard. Sex Picard. <laughs> birds, how have you been? I'm good. I'm birds and I'm good. Bird, 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 bird. Bones, how you doing? 
I am doing wonderful. This is the podcast for all things Destiny PvP. Welcome to Crucible Radio. This is my new podcasting voice, and I just think it all around improves the show. Mm, on a scale of 1 to 10, um, nope, I just went John Lennon. Never mind. <laughs> because a Harry Potter character. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is, is that I play Destiny PvP, and my best friends are Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a problem, is it's tough to do a John Lennon impression without mentioning Ringo at one point or another, <laughs> but uh, he just comes up. Anyways, well, it's been, Crucible uh, Radio. Well, I've been working on the trials lately, and uh, it's uh, it's not easy <laughs> getting salty. Welcome back! <laughs> everyone's, everyone's complaining about Memento, and I'm just like, I think it's okay. Oh, Kermit, you are such a stoic. That's why we love you. Uh, thank you. I, I, no, that was not correct. I lost it. It's gone. Welcome to Crucible Radio. This week we're going to pour one out for Shot Package, discuss the new meta, and decide whether or not these f***ing sunbreakers are really OP. Later we've got Titan bro Leon Young on the show to give us the details of... Wait, Birds, did you bleep that out? Come on, man. It's a bleep machine. I Sorry, it, it, it went off. I'm just getting it warmed up. Since when do you bleep out curse words, Birds? You're, you're like a sailor. I... Look, it's just funny. It just sounds funny. Here, here, let me let me, let me show you. All right, uh, Bones, say, say say something. No, dude, you're just because <laughs> someone called you out from and <laughs> one last week. It's no, no one cares. It's no big. <laughs> Stop. All right, cut it out. <laughs> let me. <laughs> would you? Someone called him out. Like entire comment section was. <laughs> you missed one. Swain, don't <laughs> him on. He's getting out. <laughs> okay, that last one. I literally wasn't even talking. And, and, like, Trials is coming out in this new expansion that we've been hearing about recently. That's going to suck. I mean, it's just going to be all thorns. I'm not, I'm not going to play. I will never play Trials of Osiris. Oh, no, no. Mark my words. They are going to realize they made a mistake. They're going to take Thorn out of the game, and we are never going to see it again. Because it just breaks the game. It, it, it was a mistake, and I think they're realizing that. Yeah, of course. And plus, like, the other thing. Wait, who is that? What? There's this person outside. Why does, the, why does that person look like me? Hey, you guys are being little scrubs. Yeah, it's Bones from 2019. Quit being babies. Thorn oh, is good. Use it. Play what? to win. It's called play to win. What you're doing is scrub mentality. You host a crucible <laughs> show? This is a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, what do you mean? I don't, I would. No, I'm not having any of it. You guys are going to grow up. You're going to do a better podcast. You're going to. Future Bones, Bones is Bones. mean. Hold on. What? Hold on. They're, there's somebody, somebody knocking on the door. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I know who it is. I sent him. Alex, Burns, listen, listen. Okay, okay. In about six months, you're going to go on a trip, and you are going to take your favorite T-shirt with you, and then you are going to leave it in the bottom drawer. You're going to forget to check the bottom drawer. This is not what we discussed we would do. Leave T-shirt in there. The one opportunity to time travel, and he's trying to save a favorite T- Look, Future Burns, can you bones. focus up? What? I appreciate you- Taking me back in time to correct my mistakes. I am putting um, a lot on the line to do this right now, okay? How much more dilithium crystal do we have left? Future Bones handed me a, a letter. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's a note from Future Swain. Uh, he's actually asleep, so. Yeah, we couldn't fit him in the pod, and he didn't seem to care enough, so we left him. Well, I am. And it's the only way we're ever going to make it back in time to record the new podcast. Something, something, time, space, continuum. <laughs> oh, no. All right, guys. Well, thank you for getting here so early. I don't know why we book our business meetings so early, <laughs> but we've all taken the time. We've done the work and uh, we have come up with our signature Crucible Radio beverage pitches. We got to diversify the brand. We know it had to happen sooner or later. And I think this is a great first step. So uh, if it's okay with you guys, let's uh, let, let's take a look at what, what we came up with. All right, I'm down. Uh, up first, Swain, th- this is this is yours. Uh, what is this one called? Swain's Scrub Juice. Electrolytes provided by the salt of your enemies. Best served over well-broken ice. I got to admit, at first it was a little strange. I was expecting juice, and it's really, really salty. I, I loved it. I loved it, Swain. I thought it was great. There's a pun in there. It's like Gatorade. Sounds, it sounds fun. I, I got to say, it's working, bro. It's working. Great job. Great job. Thank you. All right. Uh, up next, uh, Bones. Are you, are you ready to pitch yours? I'm ready. Take it away. 
Introducing the 97 Chateau de Bones, a good year, crispy start with an aftertaste that stays with you longer than a sticky nade in trials. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like a good aftertaste. Buttery? Really, really classic, you know, kind of a classic take. Since yeah. we're gamers, we're stepping it up a notch. We're classy. I like that you you had the the foresight to make it in 97. Yes. Yeah, that 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 alone is very impressive. I think we have a winner on our hands. Thanks. Thank you. Birds, do you want to show us your pitch? You know what they say about uh, saving it for last. I'd be happy to. Andrew, put 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 the tape in the boombox. No. Hit hit play. No. Birds, bro, brew. Why waste the time trying to get good when you can drink this MLG elixir and be imbued by the power of 1,020 Twitch streamers in addition to Guani, Tari, Adderall, Essence of Wormwood, and 10,000 grams of caffeine. Oh my god, that sounds disgusting. Ugh, that's terrible. It's a little intense. I I recognize it's a little intense. Intense, it's pure uh, revolting. It'll grow on you. Guys, guys what, what is this? I thought we had a philosophy on this. Drink whatever, don't apologize. No, 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 you're using <laughs> that wrong. Let me, let me pour you another one. Yeah, it'll grow on you. You'll like it. Hey, guys. Hey, birds, what's going on? Birds? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating goldfish right now. What's up? Well, we're just uh, trying to record. So, uh, you know, if you're, all, if you're all set, we can uh, get going. Yeah, hey, man, I'm good. Where are you, where are you going? What are you... Guess where I am right now. I'm good. What? What? In, where are you? Not gonna in guess a metal because... box? <laughs> in, a, in an airplane? Andrew, you're going to make this sound good. Nope. Nope. You're not going to guess because I, I did not tell you where I am. But guess. It's going to be fun. Uh, uh, the moon? Seattle. Close. Warmer. <laughs> no, man. I'm in hot Atlanta. And <laughs> the, I know the weather is soup and I went to this, um, it's like a driving range, but there's these targets you try and hit. Is you that where you're points. recording? <laughs> yup. No, I'm in my hotel room right now. I'm in goldfish. You guys want to do destiny podcast? I guess. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. It's happening. Here Are we go. Gonna, oh. I said, here we go. Okay. Okay, guys, so Destiny 2, it's all about teamwork this time. Teamwork, teamwork. So I thought that the three of us could, uh, you know, become a stronger podcast team and maybe run through some team building exercises. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little unusual. I'm I'm up for anything to make us a better podcast. All right. So so one of the first ideas I have or, or from this pamphlet I'm reading, actually, is just to be more accountable. So I sort of figured out, you know, none of us are really upset with each other, but we could, uh, you know, apologize for something that we may have just, you know, there was no need for it. Does it have to be something that was like on la- the last podcast? It could be. It could be from something earlier. Like, okay. should we try it? I yeah, can go yeah. first. Okay, I. Let's I, I love this. About time. Let's let's get there. Okay. All right. So I apologize to you guys for taking a little bit too long to get ready to record. I was doing stuff downstairs, having a snack, getting a drink, and I, I took my time knowing you guys were ready to record. So I'm sorry for that. Wow. I, I can't believe you're willing to own up to that, man. That is, um, I respect you a little bit more I because that was really bothering me. Wow. Thank you. All right. I yeah. Cool. This is working already. Nice. Yeah. I, I, so I want to take a take my turn and say that uh, I apologize for the many times that I have slept through us recording a podcast and had to record the next day. I did real bad guys. I, 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 it's nice to hear you say that Swain. I mean, I love, I love sleepy Swain. It's a great character, but yeah, you know, sometimes you just want to record and get it over with. So uh, I I appreciate that a lot. (sighs) It feels good to get it off my chest. Yeah, it does. Does, doesn't it? It's really, it's really nice. I gotta admit, uh, yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really impressed by you guys. That that took a lot to mm-hmm. um to own up to that, and I think it needed to be said. Um, all right, let's start the show. Um, birds. Um, well, hold on, birds. Don't you want to partake? I mean, it, surely on. you can think of something. Something you may have done. What that had adversely affected us too, <sighs> or the show? Maybe last week. What about last week? That, that was fun. I'm the life of the party. Everyone says so. Yeah, but 
I, like I said, these aren't things we're upset about, you know, just something. To, it's That's accountability. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I, um, I accept the fact that Bones, you were late today, and Swain, that you're late in oh, general. God. Um, and the last just, week was a really fun Andrew, week, and we all had a great music. time. This is just, we're just going to get through this another week. <laughs> just pretend we like each other. On with the show. Drink whatever before the podcast. Don't apologize. It's not how that works. Guys, guys, you got to you gotta help me out, man. I was playing What's last wrong? night. Well, okay, so this kid. It's like starts yelling at me in team chat Mm -hmm. and then I mute him. Right. Being very rude. Okay, fine. And then he starts sending me messages Uh and I report him. I block him. I'm not encouraging saying the meanest stuff to me, like totally uncalled for. Okay. And then I get a call on my phone. I don't know how this kid found me, but like Mm -hmm. every time I, I reveal something personal about myself, this kid is just right there. Like, like tonight, for example. Okay. So it's a little bit of a dry spell. We've got some time before D2. I don't know what we're supposed to be talking about. I'm a little nervous. Do, am, am I good enough to do a podcast? Can I can I put on a good podcast when, when there's nothing new in the game world to talk about? Hmm. You can't think of what to do on a podcast? That's because you're a huge turd, man. You suck. Oh, kid, leave me alone, kid. How did you even find me here? You're so stupid, you can't even think of what to say. That's because you're an idiot. Because you have no brain. Right, yeah, you have no brain. You have no brain because you smell too many of your own farts. I do not drink my own farts. You drink <laughs> your own farts. I didn't even also, say drink, and then you did. So that's proof. I said smell, you said drink. How did you even make it into our secret podcast recording bunker? I, you guys, I don't know, because I'm kid, smarter than you, you piece of you're, I'm smarter than you, I, and I'm taller, and I'm bigger, and I don't need to make fun of other people just to feel good about myself. You can't mm. possibly feel good about yourself. Guys. Oh, damn. Bonesy. Bonesy, we got to We got we We got to f- kill this kid. Hold on. Hold on. This is a child, birds. Why are, why are you struggling with this so much? But why is he so mean to you're me? You're an adult doesn't man. Make any se- <sighs> yeah, you're an adult man. <laughs> an adult. P- <laughs> Bonesy, <laughs> stop feeding him. You're just making it worse, man. Oh, we, Andrew, drop the beat. Let's start the show. <laughs> oh, we got a we got a show for you. <laughs> Listen up to this new episode. <laughs> All right, I guess that's the bit. Uh, thanks, guys. It's not even like the Halloween episode. We're just making weird ass sounds. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we're getting ready. Oh, we're gonna have to we make it real spirit. spooky again. Nice. Wait, when is Halloween? Hey, this is Engineer Andrew here, and I hope you're enjoying the final episode of Crucible Radio. Super bittersweet, but I'm so excited about what's coming ahead. I've gotten to look at around all the stuff we have coming up with a new show, and it's so exciting. Cannot wait for you guys to experience it. Uh, That being said, this next segment coming up, very, very special because the hosts actually don't know about it. (laughs) Um, Me, Medical Otter, and Dr. Grimm went out on a quest via the CR discord to secretly hit up a ton of you guys, you guys, the fans, the community and asked if you could send in some, you know, just a thank you message or whatever you want to say in like a one to two minute audio recording that we could play on the show. But the, the, the little twist was, is that, like I said, the hosts they have no idea what's happening. They don't even know this is happening at all. They have no idea that they're about to get an MP3 for me that has 30 minutes worth of the fans and the community basically talking about how much they care about CR and how much they care about, you know, them, you know, birds, bones, and swain and what they've done and this amazing show and community they've created. So if you did not get in on the know about this, cause we tried to reach out to as many as we could secretly without the host knowing fear not, we have left the email open for you to submit clips to. Yeah. It won't be on the show obviously, but, all the hosts, um, Birds, Bones, Swain, the CR team will be able to actually still hear what you have to say. If you want to send an email or just send an audio recording or a video of you, you know, saying thanks to, to them, that would mean the whole entire world. But that is farewellcrgmail.com. Anyway, I'm going to flip it back to the boys and they're about to hear you guys <laughs> talk about them. And they have no idea it's even about to happen. So here we go. All right. No, oh, like for the, when oh, we like listen count to in. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do it. Let's do it. Hit that play button on one. Okay. Okay. 
10. No. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Aw. It's nice music. Aw. Having a little CR reacts right now. Birds, bones, oh, and shit. Plain. This is Engineer Andrew here. And we made it. It's episode 200. It's the end. But it's right before the beginning of something new and exciting. I want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of this team. How many years ago that was. And uh, just allowing me to use my talents and my skills to help you guys grow what has become an incredible community. You've truly made an incredibly positive mark on this community. You've invested so much and have asked for so little in return. I think it's time that the community said thank you. All right. This is Paris at Gamertag Radio. (laughs) Bones, Birds, Swain, where do we begin with this? Let's start with this quote from the great Tony Stark who was stranded in space in a movie trailer. And he said, part of the journey is the end. Um, I was lucky enough to guest host on Crucial Radio a couple times over the years. And um, I started out as just a listener. I just started out as a guy who really liked playing Destiny, but really stunk at PvP. (laughs) And I subscribed to the podcast before I ever knew you guys. I would listen every week. I would pick up on tips, try to learn how to get better to the point. The pinnacle for me was getting out of my comfort zone, going into trials and getting good enough to actually make it to the lighthouse. I'll forever be appreciative of this podcast, of everything that you guys have provided over the years. I've been lucky enough to even call you friends at this point. I really like all you guys. You're fantastic with whatever you plan to do in the future. I'll be a fan of it. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a teeny tiny part (laughs) of this journey. Um, Forever grateful. Love Crucial Radio and uh, always be a fan. Thank you guys for all the memories and I look forward to the future. Hello, Birds, Bones, and Swain. Uh, this is Dan Drumstone. <laughs> yeah, Dan. I just want to say congrats on 200 episodes. It's honestly crazy. And it's made me look back at like the last couple years and realize how much a part of my life you guys have been. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> I used to listen to you guys uh, before I joined the Slack and everything. You know, we just had, you know, uh, the kids and remember listening to you in the garage, like making their beds and just thinking back of all the sentimental times uh, that you guys have been a part of my life. Yeah. And I don't know. It's, it's pretty crazy. You guys mean a lot to me and the podcast has definitely changed my life in such a crazy way. Uh, The people that I've met uh, because of you guys and the show is changed my life forever. So Thank you for making a podcast that is full of integrity and just intelligent conversation <laughs> and positive forward thinking uh, and making me a better player. You know, I that's why I really latched on to the podcast in the first place. I wanted to get better. And then uh, I just fell in love with the community that you guys created. So I'm really excited for what's next for you guys. And I'm so proud uh, to have you know, been a part of uh, the journey uh, as a listener. So good luck to what's next. You guys are going to do an amazing job. And yeah, I love you guys a ton, you know, a lot. So keep it up, guys. (laughs) Bye bye. Hey, birds, bones and swain. It's Dr. Grimm here. First of all, I want to express my congratulations for reaching 200 episodes. That's a crazy number, and it's even needler. crazier to think that after three years, we're coming to the end of the podcast as we know it. Those kids However, growing up as right sad as I am to see Crucible Radio in its current form go, I'm really excited to see what comes next from you guys, and I'm super happy that you're moving on to do something which you're equally passionate about. I think for me, though, what I'm most thankful for here at the end of all things is just how you guys have built such a positive, compassionate, and educational community. I think the greatest testament to this is my own personal experience with you guys. Back in Destiny 1 Year 1, when I was just some point at Katie running around with an auto rifle during the hand cannon House of Wolves meta, I found an episode online, started listening, and got hooked. One day I joined the Slack because we didn't have the Discord at the time, I worked to start improving my game, went to some coaching sessions. One day, I actually became a coach, 
And the next thing I knew, I was on the show to talk about coaching. And I think that really is a great testament to just how amazing the educational process is for development that you guys have created. I think it's always the way as well which you guys have worked to break down the question of how do I get good in such an accessible fashion is what I find so appealing about the podcast and possibly what I'm going to miss most. You guys have been amazing friends to me and a lot of other guys and I think I speak for the entire Destiny community when I say that from the bottom of my heart we're going to miss you guys a ton. You guys are absolutely incredible. So here's to 200 episodes done and another 200 to come. Much love. Grim. Thanks, Grim. I love that kid. Hi, guys. Orwing here. It's been coming up on a year since I joined the CR Discord, and I'm so glad I did. I've made some amazing friends and had some great conversations, and I just wanted to say thank you for fostering such a welcoming and positive community. Destiny wouldn't be the same without it, and the community on a whole probably wouldn't be the same without your podcast, so thank you. Hey, CR Squad. Uh, my name's John. I've been listening since the first episode. You guys probably know me in the Discord as Zorn. And I just want to <laughs> say thank you for the time that right. you've put in on this. I really feel like it has made me a better player. And I don't specifically mean Destiny player. A better game player in general, as well as a better person. Um, because a lot of the things that you tried to showcase in your podcasts or or teach uh, were things like self-reflection and growth mindsets, being open-minded to change, um, not looking at just the negative, like trying to find the positive, or at the very least, taking it at face value and not talking about what you wish could be. Because at the end of the day, that stuff does not help you. The act of doing or the act of trying to do is what really helps you. So I really thank you for that. Um, whether it's another gaming podcast or something else, um, I'm in for the ride, man. I think you guys <laughs> as personalities are just very entertaining to listen to. And... I can tell that you put a lot of thought into what you do. So uh, from the bottom of my heart, man, thanks for everything you've done for the last last few years. Hey there, Crucible Radio community <laughs> Fallout here. And I just want to say, Yo, where were you oh last man, week, what Fallout? an honor to be given the Crucy Award <laughs> for most appearances on this slightly show. Slightly belated. Oh, no, this doesn't but in count. all seriousness, gentlemen, thank you all for the hard work you have done on your show over the years for being reasonable and respectable members of the Destiny community since day one, but more importantly, thank you for being a great group of guys who Destiny or no Destiny, I'm happy to call my friends. Best of luck with wherever your new show direction takes you, and high five that we uh, never have to talk about shotguns together ever again. <laughs> Rock on and keep being you. Hey guys, Sports like Steve here. I just Steve. want to take a moment to Steve. congratulate you all on making it to 200 episodes and wishing you the best of luck on the next iteration of the podcast. I think you're going to like Still it, working Steve. on getting over my loss to fall out for most guest appearances <laughs> on Crucible Radio. That one is definitely going to stay for a while. <laughs> it's been a pleasure working with you guys over the last few years, though, spreading the word on how valuable the mental game is to optimal performance in gaming. Also wanted to thank your listeners for reaching out over the years to me on Twitter and sharing how they've taken those mental skills and applied them to their lives outside of the Crucible. Take care, guys, and uh, keep putting the bean in the can. <laughs> what is up, guys? It's Mercules here. I just wanted to give a short little farewell and a thank you to the Crucible Radio podcast crew. You guys have been you know, absolutely everything to the Destiny Crucible community. You guys started Crucible Playbook. And you've just put out super high quality content for years and years and years. And yeah, you know, without you. you guys, I think the the franchise would be in a much different place, at least the multiplayer component of it. Sure. And you know, for doing the podcast that you guys have done and for your really famous interviews with Bungie and just for the inspiration that you've given to so so many people to to become better, better players, better people. Uh, you know, you, Crucible Radio was one of the huge driving factors between me starting my own podcast. So without you guys, you know, you know, I wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't have had a place to post my weapons breakdowns or to talk with other people. And 
you know, not in the least, you guys also offered me a guest spot on the show. So I really can't thank you enough for everything that you've done. It's just been amazing to have you guys around. And I hope that whatever's next for you guys, it's just as incredible as everything you've done up until this point. Hey, it's Special K, dude. Yo! I've been on <laughs> Crucible Radio two <laughs> times, K. and I have to say you've done an amazing job directing the show. Thanks for keeping the community alive and giving an opportunity for us content creators to grow. Keep up the amazing work that you do, and I can't wait to hear your new content. Hey, guys, it's iCam here. Uh... Exactly. You know, I've been going back and forth on what to say, but I decided not to say anything. I guess <laughs> Nothing? I'm just going <laughs> to sing you guys a little song that I wrote <gasps> to commemorate oh, the big 200. So uh, here it goes. I... Hey guys, sorry about earlier. I don't know if the song was too long. I could play the entire thing, but uh, I just wanted to come back and say oh, that I love y'all. And um, buddy. Crucible Radio has meant the world to me over the past few years. The show, the community, everything you you guys built. Um, I know it technically isn't going to be called Crucible Radio anymore, but um, let's be honest, we're all here for birds, bones, and swain anyway. So uh, love you boys and kisses. Hey y'all, uh, it's Dr. Lupo. Ah. For uh, some people, Lupo. they know that I was big in Destiny for a long time. I mean, that's the, f- the first game that I streamed for a year and a half, actually, when I first started my career. And one of the first, uh, actually the first podcast that I was ever on that was like Crucible PvP oriented, that was focused on how I played and what I did and who I was, uh, that, was that was Crucible Radio. Birds... Bones, Swain, these guys have been a big part of my life for a long time. I, I don't get a whole lot of time to talk to very many people anymore. As my, as my, I'm pretty busy now. But these three guys and all the, all the people that are behind the scenes for, for Crucible Radio, they've done something incredible that I, I never thought in a million years that I would see and that was take a passion for something that I had a passion for and make me think that I didn't have a passion for it in the same way. <laughs> They've always been very, very dedicated to trying to be as unbiased as possible about Destiny and just where the game is going, what's going on with it. They've always tried to be kind of the middle ground for everything. Yeah, they, you know, Swain kind of sucks, but <laughs> the other two guys aren't too bad at it. <laughs> no, they... They've done a lot for a lot of people, and I don't think they realize. I, I will every any time anybody asks me, "Hey, you know, what, how do you get big on Twitch?" I always say, "Get really lucky." They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, one of the first things that, in my opinion, s- started kind of increasing my own exposure on Twitch and just who I was and what I was doing was these guys. They took a shot and kind of a risky topic back in the day. I played. I played keyboard and mouse on a console game. <sighs> Dramatic. And, um, and they went for Con it. Deej. They didn't come at it from like a, you're a cheater. Like, except <laughs> my, I guess Bones probably did. Uh, but, you know, a little. it's Bones. Any excuse to just to <laughs> push off on other people. It's like, yeah, I didn't miss those shots. That guy had to be hacking. <laughs> no, uh, I remember the they first took time I deleted a loop and, post on Playbook. And I consider myself much better player, much better person, much better entertainer than I was well before I met them. They've done a lot for me. They've done a lot for a lot of people and they put a lot of passion in this project. And and it, this isn't like a this is the end kind of thing. This is just a, it's the next beginning. Right? So gentlemen, from the bottom of my heart, and I think every listener out there, everybody that's going to hear this, I love you guys. I do. I can't wait to see what's next in the pipe for you. I can't wait to hear Bones complain about gameplay and Swain try and complain, but most likely misses shots. And Bird is the most attractive one of the three of them, so I have nothing negative to say about him. Put that in my resume. I love you guys. Kick some butt out there, okay? This is Nigel, the creator of Ishtar Commander. I remember back in the D1 days seeing a post on Reddit for a new Crucible podcast. I started to listen and soon realized I'd found my home. 200 episodes later, I have memories of great guests, the calm enthusiasm of Swain, those raps from Bones, the insanity of the Orbit Chat channel, and of course, drunk birds. (laughs) But most of all, that feeling of having three people with wonderful camaraderie chat gently into my ears about PvP once a week. It wasn't just people who, like me, who also enjoyed Destiny. 
with people who wanted to help us enjoy it even more. I will miss you, Crucible Buddies. Apparently it isn't goodbye though, but au revoir. Cannot wait to see what comes next. See ya! Hey, Bonds, Barrett, and Swain. Hope you're doing well this gaming brilliant. I have just around a minute, so I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna try and be fast. <laughs> I'd like to say, guys, thank you very much for years of Crucible Radio since the day one when I joined you. It's been amazing. It's been a blast. I've learned so much about PvP with your podcasts, applying tips and tricks in order to stay up to date with the current meta or, like, you know, stay at the top of the leaderboard every match. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> thank you very much. And... Through CR, I've met so many cool people that I'm still friends with, that I talk with, and you guys, three of you are one of the most genuine people on the platform and in Destiny community. It's it's amazing, and thank you very much for the years when you in Destiny back in Destiny One when we had actual uh, you know community events which were mind blowing. And I'm <laughs> thankful I joined you for some of them, like scrims, trials, raids. It, it was amazing. So thank you very much for creating such a great, amazing community, and I'm looking forward to see where the road takes you guys and yeah good luck take care and i'll see you soon i guess bye <laughs> hey boys it's baji uh it's been hey, a genuinely fun and amazing experience playing destiny with you guys for the last four years the cr community is the first gaming community that i've ever been a part of even though i've been gaming my entire life and getting to watch it grow since the beginning and getting to know everyone has been a really special part of my life that has honestly helped keep me sane through some <laughs> tough times. I can't wait to see where the podcast goes next. Keep it up and thank you. Thanks, Hi, buddy. my name is Kensta. Kensta. And I just want to say thank you to Bones, Swain, and Bird for having me on episode 177. <laughs> one it was great talking about Destiny 2 and the Crucible, about how to stay positive, communicate, and bring that positivity onto the next match. It was an amazing moment and was glad that Crucible Radio considered me, Kensta, to be on the show. I hope our episode made an impact and I'm happy for whatever it is to come in the future for this Crucible Radio team. Again, thank you Crucible Radio, Bones, thanks for everything. Swain, let's not lose 15 months like that Gambit match, <laughs> but it was hilarious, <laughs> which made it even better. Bird, stop shoulder charging me off heavy. Again, <laughs> yeah, thank yeah, you guys Gambit. and I appreciate it. Kensta out. Ugh. Hey guys, it's Cassie. I wanted hey to say Cassie. thank you for creating Hi, such an amazing community. I wouldn't have met the people that I have or made the friends that I have without your podcast. And I consider you guys my friends as well. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, listening every week has helped me grow, not only as a player, but as a person. Uh, Swain, listening to your episode on mental health and meditation helps me realize that the importance of taking a step back and taking a minute to myself and since then i've gotten really into meditation <laughs> uh birds your episodes lent a different perspective to life and provided truly that provoking content and i love them so much and i want to talk about more stuff like that because it's great <laughs> bones I love you, dude. You're a fantastic writer and you're so talented and I can't wait to read any fiction <laughs> that comes from you because it's just amazing. You, you're hella talented, bro. I can't wait to see what you guys do. I know that it's sad that Crucible Radio is coming to an end. I'm definitely going to miss it. I know everyone else is going to miss it, but I'm going to keep my eye out for whatever you guys do. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Hey birds, Bones, Swain, Morif here. Hey Morif. It hey, was Morf. Uh, after Rise of Iron came out when I got really into Crucible and decided to stop being a scrub and <laughs> learn how to get good. <laughs> Each Monday, you made me want to go back to the game and try new things, new loadouts, new weapons, you name it. Now, after almost three years, Crucible Radio is not only something that helped me grow as a player, but most importantly, a place I can call home. My osis of similar-minded people who just want to get good at game they love. Your involvement in reducing Scrub's population by at least one <laughs> won't ever be forgotten. So thanks, uh, and I wish crew. you all the best. Hey boys, Titan Voot Master Legolay Flash here. Leg Man, out. I just wanted to take a second and say I appreciate you guys. Thanks for taking the time to create an incredible podcast that helped us observe our own actions, get advice from the best of the best, and become better PvP players, and really for just helping us enjoy the game. But above all, 
Birds, Bones, and of course Swain. Thank you for just making us better people. You helped us not only get good in the crucible, but also helped us find ways to improve our overall mental state. So here's my hot take. Whatever y'all do next will be awesome. <laughs> Podcast whatever, don't apologize. Does that work? <laughs> hey guys, Zia here. Just wanted to say thanks for everything y'all built through Crucible Radio. The community that surrounded your podcast did so much to help me throughout the years, and I will always treasure the friendships that I've built through it. You've affected lives in ways that you will probably never know, <sighs> and I appreciate everything you've done. Hey guys, it's Cap. Cap. I know, uh, you probably just heard Cap. me on the episode uh, accepting the Hella Good Advice Award, but just want to take some time and recognize Hell you all. Four years. Four years is a staple in this community. Whether it was vape nash or use whatever, don't apologize. The advice, the opportunities you gave people to come on and help better our community, not only in the Crucible, but just in life and in gaming, has been astounding. I appreciate all you've done for me personally. You know, you helped me. Uh, whether you knew it or not, you all were my buddies for four years. Uh, driving in my car to work, out on my morning runs, just helping to put a desire to want to get better. You know, one of my favorite sayings is that the best things always come in threes. And you all absolutely exemplify that. <laughs> Bones, birds, and swain. Yep, I definitely think the best things do come in threes. <laughs> Looking forward to whatever you do next. And remember, we're all thirsty deep down inside, so stay thirsty. <laughs> Cap out. My dear friends, I cannot thank you three enough for letting me play whatever small part I played in the making of this incredible oh. thing you've done. Whenever life has you down, remember that. That you positively impacted the lives of several thousands of people. People who wish they could find a place with other people like them, for whom good was not good enough. People who had a desire to better themselves. Week after week, you three did just that. You taught them how to better themselves. You gave us your time, your effort, and you asked nothing in return. You spread positive ideas, helped quell a torrent of negativity, an unrelenting torrent of negativity, and inspired thousands to look inward for growth, instead of blaming the world and the people around them. I cannot wait to see what you guys have in store for this next journey. I look forward to see how this will grow. Hey, boys. And emotional. What else can I say besides <laughs> thank you? Oh. You know, I feel like I have a tendency to overstate my gratitude for things sometimes, but honest to God, I cannot think of a lot of people in my life who I'm as grateful for as I am for you. When I was just starting out with Planet Destiny, I had a lot of help from a lot of people. You know, I believe in my heart of hearts that the guidance and the advice that you gave me were some of the most substantial factors that contributed to my success and really, really gave me the confidence I needed to get off the ground. But more importantly than that, I want you to know how fortunate I feel all the time that I get to know you as friends. Because when you get to know a group of folks, in this case, you know, the three of you, but also the entire crew, that made Crucible Radio possible. When you're on the inn and when you feel cared about, you should also feel lucky, in my opinion. And I feel very, very lucky. And with all that being said, I hope that you never stop growing and that you never stop creating. And I don't just mean content. <laughs> I mean making things in your life that bring you joy and prosperity and love and peace of mind because you deserve it you deserve all of that and so much more so let me say it again thank you thank you for everything that you've done for the destiny community and thank you for everything you've done for me as an individual i love you guys so much and here's to many 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 more years of success and happiness to come Birds, bones, and swain. Hi guys, it's Smiley Jersey. There's a lot I could say about how wonderful you guys are, but we don't have the time. So I do want you to know that um, the time, your time and personal investment that you guys have put into this podcast, this community, and to your friends and all of us involved, well, it's 
It's left an impact. Mark, uh, I know this because of its impact on me and the friends I've made and how much that has enriched my life through the good times and the bad. So thank you guys for that. It means a lot to me. I hope you guys continue to be successful in your endeavors and I hope that I'll get to witness more of those spectacular things that you guys do. Hey, Birds, Bones and Spain, it's Scorn here. I just <laughs> wanted to congratulate you guys on 200 amazing episodes of Crucible Radio and thank you guys for all the tips, tricks and entertainments over the years. I wish you all the best for your podcast future. See ya. Hey guys, it's VGA Raymond. Uh, I remember when I first right. found the subreddit two years ago, I actually posted some long-winded, salty complaint <laughs> about the Crucible, and it got it taken you. down. <laughs> but uh, looking back, uh, I feel like I definitely needed that, and listening to the podcast every week really helped me focus on what's important in Crucible and real life, too. So thank you all so much. I'd jump off a bridge for you. <laughs> hey, gents, it's Otter. Just wanted to say you guys have been like a family to me since way back in the Slack days. And I want to thank you for not only welcoming me into the CR community, but really making me feel like I found a home online. It's been a privilege to work with you guys. And honestly, these have been some of the best years for me, spending them with y'all. Just all the laughter and tears we've shared along the way and all the <laughs> ones to come. Truly, truly love you guys and the whole Crucible Radio team. Thanks so much for everything you've done. Cheers. Hey guys, uh, Punky here. Just... Uh, Wanted to thank you guys for creating this awesome community that's really gotten me into this amazing hobby of uh, PvP, really kind of deepened my appreciation for games in general, and kind of kindled a uh, competitive spirit in me that I never really had a chance to feed before, and that I focus on making myself better to, uh, to reach ever higher heights is uh, something that's really kind of improved my life, and I mean, you guys definitely got me through uh, my time in Korea in one piece, at least sanity wise and um just uh thanks for being awesome i met a lot of friends and that i wouldn't have never had a chance to meet before including uh all three of you guys so thanks for being awesome and good luck with everything else that's coming next i'm sure it's going to kick just as much ass as crucible radio has uh thanks a lot bye bones birds swain <laughs> crucible radio <laughs> listeners Hello, this is Noosk. Thank you so much for letting me stop by. <laughs> so, if you hadn't heard yet, I left Bungie on good terms and am sadly no longer working on Destiny. Uh, will not be your weaponsmith anymore. Unfortunately, will not be stopping by to talk anymore. Sweet, sweet gun goodness. <laughs> but don't worry. The team at Bungie is still crammed to the gills with extremely talented people. They love the game. They're True. really good at what they do. Yes. They listen to the community. They care very much about delivering an awesome experience for you guys. Don't worry. It's in very good hands. Uh, a little about me. I'm still working in games. I'm working on a secret thing, which I'm not talking about yet. Ooh, 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 um, be my so yeah, buddy. thank you, Crucible Radio. I think uh, as a Destiny-focused program, you guys always held yourselves head and shoulders above most of the community. When it came to talking about the game, uh, you guys kept it mature, you kept it analytical, you kept it fun. Most importantly, I think you guys kept it positive, um, even when you guys got flack for doing so. As a result, I think, you know, <laughs> that feedback was something that I was personally always really happy to hear, good or bad. You know, like a, an analogy of, of if you think about like conversations that you're, you're going to be having. Um, like Thanksgiving, right? Like going over to your parents' house for Thanksgiving. You're going to be having conversations there. Some are going to be great. Some are going to be kind of uncomfortable, but it's going to happen, right? So you've got grumpy uncles. You've got happy uncles. <laughs> you've got neutral uncles. Um, <laughs> the happy uncles are, you know, they can say whatever wild, weird stuff from their lives or their opinions. And they, you know, if they do it with, with a certain grain of positivity as opposed to like grumpy uncle who's going to be grumpy about it, maybe a little entitled, maybe a little salty about everything he says, even though those conversations <laughs> are all the same subject matter, uh, I think you can guess who you're going to want to sit next to next year and the year after that. It's the happy uncle. So yeah, thanks guys for being my happy uncle. <laughs> Thank you for keeping it light and fun. Um, and at the same time, real and also on the nose. Uh, that was extremely valuable to me and probably the rest of the team as well. Um, I love talking game design, especially with, uh, with players and other designers who know the game intimately because we can get into juicy depth without having to really explain too much of the surface level stuff. Um, so coming on a show like Crucible Radio is, you know, 
genuinely joyful for me due to uh, you know the environment you created, your familiarity with the game, and your willingness to sort of open up and, and talk about some of the design decisions that we uh, that we got to. Um, I think because of that environment, we were able to you know kind of extract some really great conversations that I think helped give a bunch of the players of the game and you know people who listen to the show um, important context for you know design decisions, directions the game was going um, in a game that's like really really complex. Uh, I think if there's one thing that Destiny could always be better at is showing a little bit more intent up front to the player. Um, but it's so hard in a big game like Destiny. So having an opportunity like uh, coming on your show and being able to talk about that context was was highly valuable. I think um, on a personal note, being part of the show has given me an opportunity to also get to know you guys as friends. Um, I think I can't remember when it was. One of the first times you guys came out to Bungie, um, you know, we did our thing. We we showed you guys like a build in progress, um, talked some some work stuff, and then uh, <laughs> I don't can't remember if we like. Went out to dinner or breakfast the next day or what, but we, we all got together with just some of the developers on the stu- on, on the team who uh, listened to the show and just wanted to meet you guys. And so eventually sort of led to a friendship that's a bit more of an acquaintance. So, I mean, if anything, that's, that's the greatest part of a game like Destiny. Uh, those opportunities to create social bonds, bring people together. I think Bungie knows that. It's a core value for the entire studio there as an entertainment company. So not just the team that makes Destiny, but as an entertainment-focused company, Bungie is very aware of that, and, and they value it. So I'm sure all the listeners out there as well have similar stories to some degree. So anyways, I'm rambling. Thanks again. Uh, and lastly, before I sign off, I do want to commend you guys on, on your bravery and taking a step into some unknown territory Sure, it's a little worrisome, but personally, I am definitely excited to keep listening, see where it goes. Best of luck, guys. This ain't over, Zaddy. (laughs) (sighs) The goddamn piano music, Andrew. (laughs) Oh, boy. Definitely wasn't gently sobbing. Fuck. Yeah. I was like, ugh. And I was, I was doing so good. And then contacts made me very emotional. And then moon just pulled it out of me and I started crying. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well, th- thank you everyone. Um, <sighs> how can you just do like a nice calm silence on a podcast without, I'm, without it sounding like there's an editing issue? Cause. Oh, thank you. I can save this is that while it felt like uh, the end to something, uh, and it it is, it is the end of a way of doing things uh, for a long time. Man, that's only got me really excited to do the next thing and do it just as well, if not better, than we did Crucible Radio. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people who we heard from and for sure the three of us were kind of spiritually homeless for a long time. Like we had, you know, like maybe our friend group that we played with or not in my case. Um, And we came out of this thing, this entirely optional, entirely extracurricular thing um, with like a crew, a big open welcoming crew that's just predicated on being open to new stuff and being good to each other. And I, yeah, one tiny little turn in a different direction. And all those people we just heard from, I, I never would have gotten a chance to know them. So, all right, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. You guys can tell me if Andrew should edit this out, but I kept hearing the same couple things over and over, which is, and I don't think this is from us. I think people have given us some gifts over the years, but we've got a little bit of hard one wisdom that we figured out in this show. Um, Steve, sports psych Steve, who became the, the psychological framework for this whole show, um, <laughs> have a growth mindset. Be open to new stuff. Don't get too down on yourself when bad stuff happens. Look at everything as an opportunity. That's real. 
Make your own fun. It's a big game. It can get dull sometimes. There's a lot to do. You don't have to love all of it, but have fun. Make your own fun. Make it fun. Otherwise, what's the point? And also uh, something we heard a bunch, and I think it's good advice for all of us, myself included. Don't be such a scrub. Try to be less of a scrub. Try and just, (laughs) yeah, just try. Just try. I think those, uh, we really, we really beat those ideas around for a good couple of years. And I think they held up. Um, And I think this next thing, you're going to tune in next week. The new episode of a new thing is going to show up in your inbox. And I think you're going to find that those ideas and those guiding principles are fully intact. We are, we are letting them steer where this next show goes. So um, yeah, if that's what you like about it. um, Thank you. Thank you for proving it to me over and over that these things are true and they work and we'll, We'll make some new stuff around them. We literally made the show because the three of us wanted to get better (laughs) at a specific thing. Like it was, there's no, there's, there's no, uh, you know, metaphor there. It's so literal, right? Like we fine tuned some things. We found the best catchphrases to do it. Growth mindset, scrub mentality. Use whatever, don't apologize, of course. But like from the beginning, it was like, hey, I want to get better at something. I want to learn something. I want to practice something. I want to know something. And that's what we did. And that's what we've done for 200 weeks. And that's what we will continue to do. I think it's funny that the core purpose of why we started uh, is still pushing us forward. And it just so happens we can apply it to different things now. That's really really, really makes sense uh, why why we're still here and, and still doing it. I think it's because we know it's good for us. I think we know showing up on Thursdays, even if we want to be sleeping or just take a week off or we haven't played Destiny and we don't know what to talk about, we show up because we know what we're there for in the back of our heads and we've always known. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, this is- the uh, transition of where I've been sitting over the course of this emotional hour and a half, <laughs> I went from sitting up, you know, leaning into my mic to elbows on my knees to wiping my nose on my shirt while I cried to now leaning across the side of my desk with my mic arm stretched <laughs> really far down because <laughs> now I'm a mess. Uh, but it's been great. Uh, goodbye, Crucible Radio. Hello, new thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Almost gonna yeah. say it. It's almost time to say it. It's almost time to say it. Let's uh let's 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 do a couple things. Let's say um let's say this. Uh crucibleradio.com ain't going anywhere. Those True. maps are gonna be up there. Every single episode of the show ain't going anywhere. YouTube.com slash crucible radio with the crafted with love video version of this show and some of the little extra special content we've made over the years. That's not going anywhere. Um, Discord, not going anywhere. Di- yeah, Discord is going to remain discord.gg slash crucible radio. And it's going to be a place where you can meet people who are all right to play Destiny with or other stuff. But it's, it's, a, it's a crucible radio thing. It's a Destiny thing. Ain't going nowhere. But, however, if you do want to know what the name of the new show is and what it's all about... Uh, maybe you should give a follow to twitter.com slash crucible radio because maybe that's going to be changing up a little bit as well as the iTunes RSS feed that you get this podcast through. So, yeah. Subscribe, god damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just um, I, I, feel like, I feel like after 200 episodes, we fucking earned it. Uh, follow... Like and subscribe, please. And you know what? If you wanted to give us a one-star review on iTunes, but you were holding off, hey, you know what? Fuck it. Go for it. Actually, no. Don't. Don't you fucking don't do it. that. Give a five-star review. Yeah. Oh, all the places this show brings me, honestly, through the week. It's crazy. And, uh, you know, besides just listening and just as listeners, thank you to everyone in the Discord who just hangs out, who talks about whatever. Um, Twitter. What an insane, fun place. Uh, I don't regret any of it, except probably like less than five tweets I regret. Uh, that's So that's pretty good. Um, Crucible Playbook, 
keep doing your thing. I know, I know people want it to be something. And then there's the, the old heads in there who refuse to let it happen. So stay true good. to what it is. Stay true to Play what it is. It's a place to get good. Have. Play the game we have. Uh, it's a Destiny the Game subreddit. Whew, uh, good luck. Yeah, and, I'm going to uh, get banned from DTG in a minute here. <laughs> Uh, there's been some insanely funny, but, and good things from that, including like when our show does show up, there's been some of the most ridiculous things I've ever read. <laughs> it's nothing but entertaining. Yeah. I'll say we do that. enjoy it. We do. All of it has been entertaining. That's 100% for sure. Uh, thanks. That's it. <sighs> All right. I think, uh, in a roundabout way, there's no better way to send this show off than, uh, you Bonesy. With uh, a hype little sound that everyone knows what it means when I say musical break. Going places you ain't even thought were possible. I'm so hard to kill, you had to go and be unstoppable. Popping off, I'm dropping over bombs on top of all of y'all. Every time I go in, there's another one to talk about. I don't deal with salt, I don't want none of that. Picking up the spark, I'm like a running back. We're the weekend warriors, party crashing every Friday. I'm not keeping score no more, running out of metals quickly. That's how we do it. Got that mentality. No excuses. Speed rev ability, run high agility. Step like a memory. Nobody killing me. I am the fan. I'm the taught in your dreams. Become the champion by any means. I use whatever. Don't apologize. Open up a fresh wound of cauterize. Don't be mad when I find this rank like that. I got last word on my hip like. <laughs>